So the next thing we're gonna look at is Cade being a little loose with his handle. And the first one is in ball screen situations and him kind of losing track of his initial defender. So here he kind of uses the screen, reuses it, and watch how he kind of just gets a little loose with the handle out here, not anticipating Suggs to continue to make a play on the ball. So the ball gets out away from his body and Suggs is able to make a play on it from behind and force the turnover. So as we go into the next one, again, we're going to be using the ball screens. This is going to be Davion Mitchell. Okay, so Cage uses the ball screen and kind of loses track. I think he underestimates his initial defender's ability to recover and get back in the play. And as he puts the ball back in his left hand, Mitchell is right there to get a hand on it and force the turnover. So back-to-back -back clips right there we see where his initial defender continues to play and Cage just a little loose, not anticipating they're still going to be there. Here in the Clippers game, same thing, uses the ball screen, puts it back where the defender is going to be at the initial defender. Reggie's able to reach in there. Zubox swipes at it and you just saw how far away from his body the ball got there in those situations. So as we see Cade more and more in ball screen pick and roll situations, we got to see him a little bit tighter with the handle. And then here's just kind of like a one-on-one -on -one iso, but you're going to see how far away the ball gets from his body here as I believe he, this is where he likes to go behind the back now. Just not quite quick enough with it and Osmond's able to get a hand. That scouting report is going to be out on K that he likes to go behind the back in that situation so he's got to be a little bit tighter in those situations. The next one is just taking contact and keeping tight hold of the ball. So here Again, in transition, James Harden's able to swipe at it, takes the contact from Joe Harris, and it ends up off his foot out of bounds. The next one is an even a better example as we go in transition here against the Bucks. Again, takes the contact, and he's just got to be able to play through this. Now, he's done it better than what I thought, but he's got to be able to play through this contact as he takes the contact from the defender and the defender's able to get a hand on it. And like I highlighted in the first breakdown, a lot of these turnovers are live ball, so then it's transition going the other way.